So do you have a LCD module and want to use the Digispark 80 Tiny 85 board to make it work? I will show you how to do that. So let's get started. The Digispark 80 Tiny 85 is one of the smallest microcontroller board available in the market. These three pins you see are the VCC, the ground and the 5 volt output pin. The VCC can be supplied with 7 to 12 volt supply. It has 6 input output pins namely P0 to P5. For this project, we will require pin P0 and P2 which are the SDA and the SCL pins required for I2C communication. We will use the 5 volt and the ground pin to power the LCD module. This LCD module has a 16x2 display. The module comes pre-soldered with the I2C module. This makes our work easier as we now have less pins to connect to our microcontroller. This jumper is to toggle on and off the backlight of the LCD, the pot is used to change the contrast. The 4 pins here are in the order ground, VCC, SDA and SCL. We will now take a look at the circuit diagram and make the connections. The pin P0 is the SDA pin and P2 is the SCL pin. Connect the SDA and SCL on the microcontroller to the SDA and SCL on the LCD I2C module. Power it up with the 5V and ground pin. Make the connections as per the diagram. As you can see, I have made the connections temporarily on a breadboard. One thing to note regarding this board is that unlike other Arduino board, we do not keep it connected to the computer. We plug in the USB cable after we click on upload. Let us take a look at the coding part now. Open the Arduino IDE and go to tools. Now go to boards. You see this DigiSpark board manager to use the module. I'll show you how to get that. Go to file, preferences and enter this link and click ok. I have provided this link in the description. Now go to tools, board, board manager. From there install the board manager for DigiSystem AVR boards. You can also visit this website for a step by step guide along with all the links. For the latest version of Arduino IDE, you need to download and install the drivers manually. Click on this link to download the zip file. Uncompress the zip file and install the driver as per your 32 or 64 bit operating system. Now we will open the basic usage example provided for the LCD module with 80Tiny85. This is a ready to use code but when you click upload, an error pops up. This is because this example is outdated and the libraries have been updated. I'll now show you the necessary adjustments you need to make to make this work. We don't need the tinywire library. Instead of tinywire.begin, we now need lcd.begin. lcd.int function is not required in the updated libraries. You can use this command to either turn on or off the backlight. We use lcd.clear to clear the display of any previous data being shown. We use lcd.setCursor to set the position of our cursor before typing. The 0 and 1 are the first and second row. Our code will print the message on the first row, then wait a second, clear the display and print the message on the second row. Let us upload the code now. The system gives you a 60 second interval to connect the 80Tiny85 to the computer. Let us hook it up. The code has now been uploaded and runs smoothly. Another problem that you might encounter when using a new LCD module is that the screen is lit up. The code is set right but there is no text on the screen. The culprit is this spot. You need to adjust the contrast with it. Take a screwdriver and twist. Nothing yet? Twist one more time. You see it works. See the description for more details. Hope you enjoyed the video. If yes, then do not forget to like the video and hit that subscribe button.